Why do we baptize babies? If you spend any time talking with people outside of Lutheranism about baptism, you're very quickly going to find somebody that thinks it's a bad idea to baptize the little ones. The argument goes that we need to wait until a person is of a certain age, an age of accountability, after which somehow a person is able to make an accurate and truthful confession of faith, whereas before that it can't be sincere because of a lack of intellectual capacity. This, of course, is not what faith is. Faith is, most importantly, trust in Christ, which even the very smallest can do. And secondly, it treats baptism as an outward act of obedience to demonstrate some inner conversion or truth. And this, of course, isn't what baptism is. Baptism is being washed with water and God's word for the forgiveness of sins. It applies to us the saving death of Christ through the means of water and the word so that we would know when and where we have received it. Now, I'm not going to talk about what baptism is so much as why we give it to children. There's plenty of stuff on higher things and elsewhere that talk about the, about the joys and benefits of baptism, and I encourage you to check out those videos. So in order that we understand this, let's not just take my word for it. Let's go to Holy Scripture. Our first verse for consideration is Luke chapter 1, verse 41. And in this passage, Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus, who is pregnant with our Lord, goes to visit Elizabeth, her cousin, who is pregnant with John the Baptist. And when the two women meet, John leaps in the womb of his mother. And the reason he leaps is because he recognizes that he is in the presence of his Lord and Savior. This is an act of faith. It shows that even little unborn babies can trust in Christ. This is really the essence of faith. Sure, there's an intellectual dimension to it, but it's not merely intellectual, and indeed at its root, it is the passive reception and trust of our Lord Jesus Christ and his gifts. Then, of course, Jesus himself says in Matthew chapter 19, verse 14, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. Jesus says very plainly that little ones are to be included in his kingdom which means they need the forgiveness of sins and all the benefits that come from Christ's death in all the ways that he's provided it to them, particularly baptism. And Jesus, of course, also says when he gives baptism in Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Did you catch that? Jesus says that all nations should be baptized. All nations should be made into disciples. And nations doesn't just include people age 13 or older or whatever. It includes all people, from the very oldest to the very youngest and everybody in between, the very smart and the very stupid and everybody in between. And finally, Peter preaches on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2. He says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children, and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. Peter says very plainly that the gift of the Holy Spirit, which comes by baptism, isn't just for the adult hearers. It's also for their children. So why do we baptize babies? Well, first of all, they're sinners and they need the gift of forgiveness, which comes in baptism. And secondly, because the Bible tells us to.